Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today we're going to be looking at Amalgam by Mark Kirsten. So before we do this, can you please like, subscribe, very important, share this if you know people that might like it, and I don't just mean on social media, even though that'd be great, but, um, but if you've got people that you think would like the channel, do let them know, that'd be lovely. And check out carbmagiccourse.com, that's my online course, learn from a pro, you can learn from me, I'm engaged with the course, it's not just a passive income thing. Uh, we do live sessions every week and I upload them to the course. There's no better way of learning. If you're learning magic or taking your learning seriously, whatever level you're at is listening to people discuss and teach and learn magic together. So check out those. And uh, I add to it every month. But importantly, I've just created a, a free spread cull course, a whole course on the spread cull that's taken a couple of videos off the card course, but I've shot some new footage for that as well of not only doing the spread cull, I had to use it. I've got an improvised trick that I do. I went next door and I did a load of stuff of, last year with a spread curl. Uh, I've got that on it, a tutorial of that and further uses. So check that out. That's just carbmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. I'm going to say spread curl there. So uh, carbmagiccourse, oh, easy, blimey. Cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. That's better, isn't it? Just calm down a little bit, Steve. That's all you got to do. Anyway, the links will be below if you can't understand my silly lispy voice. Amalgam by Mark Kirsten. Um, I'm a huge fan of Mark. Uh, a lot of people are a huge fan of Mark. I think he's the best app, app developer. Uh, his, his and Benke's stuff, I just think, is, is just so usable. For someone like me who's... I, I, I'm okay with tech. I'm good with it. But I have to sit down and be with it. I'm not just... It's not in me, you know. I'm quite old. <laughs> I'm 47. So when I get a new app, I want it to be out of work and just not have to kind of sit and... You know, you can always bang through it and get there in the end, but I kind of want it to just work. And with, with Mark's stuff, it's just like that. It's It just looks really good. It's really simple to use. And it does get over that barrier a lot of people have of, app, of apps where you've got to go into settings and spend so long. And, and again, Mark and Benke, I think, are both people that I've just been able to pick it up and they've talked me through it, walked me through it, and it's just been great. This is a, a, a it comes in two seasons so far. I think there's going to be four seasons, but don't quite, I don't know how long it's going to go on for, but um, I think it's four, but two seasons, each season has four apps in it so um and the reason that seasons obviously is because the first one got released and a few months later the second one there's no time on this it but, but you know mark's got loads of integrity without you know it's coming out and you know he's working on it so we've got two seasons so far that's eight apps four per season i'll run through each one briefly because we've got eight apps i don't want to be here for two hours going into the detail of each one so the the things are important that you're going to want to know about each so first is the streets this is a a trick I saw John Archer do many years ago and he's had out as a as a market product. It's a book test with a London A to Z or A to Z. Um, it's that on a phone, which makes complete sense because it uses the maps on the phone, the same kind of engine and all that kind of stuff. I think that's the right word. Um, so it, for all intents and purposes, you, you're getting out your maps that looks completely natural and go, right, zoom in on somewhere. And the idea is they zoom in on somewhere on the map, wherever, uh, pick a street and you can get what the street is so it's a piece of mentalism with your phone but importantly they're doing it they've got your phone on them so it's not you know so if even though yes it feels like an app it feels like the app that is on your phone anyway uh, which is great it's a great trick and it's a great piece of mentalism the next is oh, I've got it written down there timed out I always get that mixed up with the next one because they both got time in them so um or about time so this is a brilliant force of one of any five items and what I mean by that is so the built-in one is the um uh, ESP symbols, uh, Xena symbols. So you 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 show them a few ways of doing it. You show them either a picture of all of them, and so you don't have to explain what they are. And go right, have a look at one of them, um, and we'll put the phone down. So you put the phone down on their hand, and then they, you know what one they're thinking of. They say, oh, I'm thinking of the the uh, the wiggly lines or whatever. And you go right, you pick the phone up off your hand now. They pick it up off their hand, and it shows them the one they're thinking of. And it doesn't have to be Xena symbols. You can very easily customize this to any one of any five photos. There's a, a drawing thing on there. So you open the drawing pad on there and you, you can show that it's actually working. You go, right, I'm going to draw a symbol now. Right, what one do you think I've drawn? And they say they pick it up. And importantly, it's them picking it up off their hand. It, it goes that you can use dice, which is amazing. A lot of these apps you can, um, um, I think it's the kinetic dice, is it called? 
where you can pair that with them so you can use dives which which uh, adds a bit more but what i will say is they are made to be self-contained so even though you can add the dice it doesn't need that the all of these are like you said the point of it was they're self-contained up so you haven't got to open anything else you just do that and you've got the trick there and it all you, you kind of stay within that app so so that it's kind of like a magic show in your pocket without having to bring other things into it so that's great um and i suppose i've talked a bit longer than that because i really really like it watch is a the next one very simple idea uh, someone tells you what, uh, any time of day and you zoom into a picture that, that could be already open and um, and you show that someone in this picture and, the, and the, the default picture there is a picture of a load of people that look like they're at a work meeting or something. You zoom into one of them and they're quite near the background. So you zoom right in. It's really magical. And then you see a little readout on their watch and it says the, the time that this person has said, which is great. It's not voice recognition. Um, so they can write it down and you can do things. You can mix it with kind of billet peaks and things like that. It's... Um, really good and the important thing is as with most of this it's very customizable so you can have a picture of yourself or you and some other people or a family photograph and then you zoom in on your watch and the customizability of this you don't have to be techie it's really clever it really works well and you've got videos talking you through this and really really good instructions and very very clear concise concise instructions for this stuff so that was really good. And uh, we got word search next, which I, when I first read, I thought, that doesn't sound very interesting. But when you do it, it's great. And again, it's like a, a piece of mentalism or memory work. You open what you say is a word search app. Um, you show all the word searches. They choose any one. Uh, they choose any word while they're looking at the phone. And you, you can pretend that you've memorized it. And they go, oh, the word is, I don't know, tomorrow. And you go, OK, well, that's going to be um, four columns across, three columns down. And you can tell them where it is and whether it's going diagonally or vertically. It's really good fun. And I really, really like that. That's from Harry De Cruz. So the first one, the streets, was John Archer. Then we've got two from Mark. That's timed out and, and watch. And the, the fourth one was from Harry De Cruz. And that's season one. And really, really good fun stuff. And you can pick these up straight away and do them pretty much of course you've got to play a little bit and get a bit familiar with them but you haven't got to do anything complicated i would say the only one out of season one that took a bit of practice is watch because just the way you do it you're going to have to become familiar with something very simple but you don't want to be overthinking as you're doing it but all the rest i think even the word search when i first read it i thought is that a bit complicated and then when you put it into play it's not at all it's very simple and there's a few little mnemonics in there again i wouldn't say there's memory work but you've got to remember like three things and what starts where but he, but it's it's very nicely done and uh, and very intuitive and that's the thing about mark stuff it's all super intuitive meaning i know what you know what it means but meaning you can just again someone like me can just it all makes sense there's nothing weird that i've got to remember that doesn't make any sense and he's good at doing that he creates all these things and i think empathizes with the user a lot you know the the way it all looks and the way it works, he's thinking about the user experience, which I think some app developers aren't so good at. Anyway, I'm going on. But um, so we've got season two. So season two, the first one is Inertia. Super uh, cool. Very easy. You can do instantly. It opens one of many apps and the actual apps themselves. So Netflix, um, in, um, Instagram, all these th loads and loads of them. And, and they are the actual pages. They're not kind of like mocked up ones. And you can force any item from there. And what you do is you give someone your phone, you say, just give it one swipe like that, and it will land on a certain bit or an Instagram post or mix between two Instagram posts so you can do more with it, uh, which is really, really good. And you can do that instantly, and you can change the force item at any point. So, it's, so you know, you can, you can show that you're going up and down. Look, look, you know, show them it all really legitimately and then one stop shop you nearly <laughs> find it quite hard to say that is a harry de cruz which is um uh, app which is very similar to uh inertia it has a different feel to it because you're you're f forcing one of six it's gonna be hard to describe this one of six items of clothing that they're going to be able to see on the screen before they swipe they're going to give you a number between one to six and they know that they're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So before they can choose any of those numbers, you say, right, whatever correlates with that number by the time you've swiped, that's going to be your item of, item of clothing. And the point of that is that it makes it fair. It's not just one item on the screen. It's one of six items. And I'm sorry if that's not going to make great sense, but I'm rubbish at explaining that. Um, <laughs> but that's all right, isn't it? But anyway, it's, again, it's similar feel, but you can bring in, because like, it's an item of clothing, it doesn't have to be. It can be a playing card shop. And very customizable as well. So you've got clothing stores playing 
card stores, shoes. Uh, and you, you can also do things like, as he said, Keller Morelli, Morelli's, um, I think that's how you pronounce it, isn't it? Dress code. So could, could they, they pick on a certain, land on a certain uh, clothing, you can do a quick change thing and you've got that item clothing on, or you could show your socks um, that match the ones that they're, they're thinking of. So you've got all that stuff, which is really, again, really, really clever and just looks real. You know, the thing looks real, uh, which of course is incredibly important. Choice mail, which is a simple idea. Um, they name a card or you do a card trick and whatever card, you open your phone and a voicemail, you can say, I'm gonna check my voicemails because someone's called me here and someone on the voicemail is, uh, names the card that you've just used in the trick or has just been named or whatever. And the, the pre-programmed ones are quite fun because they're Shimlin, <laughs> which is great. PM. Hey, Shinlin here, uh, just returning your call. I've had a think and the card most likely to be named will be the three of clubs. Thanks. Again, really cool, very simple idea, very easy to use. Uh, and the last one, which is just great, is called Amped. Now, Amped is, uh, you show basically that you, got, you can show you've got superpowers, or you can show that you can charge your phone with your finger by just putting your finger on the bottom of the phone. But basically what happens is, you show someone your phone, you say, watch what happens when I put my finger here. You put your finger there, or you, you know, do this, and they see the visual percentage of the battery go up or down, depending on the way you want to do it, really, really quickly. And it, you can see it all drop down. You now it's got, starts slowly and then starts moving, and it's really cool. It's a, it's, I, re I love it, I love doing it. I showed my kid the other day, I was like, Willie, put your finger there, look what's happening, and, and the battery goes up to, to whatever percentage. Um, very magical, very cool, and uh, great fun to perform, and all of these are really fun to perform. That's what I'll say about them. Because they're not super difficult, because you can, they're all self-contained, they're a lot of fun, and there's a real fun feeling about these, these apps. And very magical, it's easy to forget when we know about all this stuff, people just don't. And when you're using bits of your phone that they are familiar with seeing, you know, like Netflix, like the, the drawing pad or opening your photos. And uh, it's, it's really cool. And, and the, you know, the dice can be used in, in um, different parts of the dice can be used with the, the one-stop shop. So I think, so you can, you know, you can roll the dice and that lands on two and you go, all right, count down one, two, and that's what we're going to, so it's, so the, again, there's this fairness to it. I really, I've had lots of fun with this. Um, I've had this for, for a while, for about a month, uh, and um, I've spent a lot of time playing with it. So I can tell you, you know, with how it feels. Again, the, the one that pretty, basically probably took the most practice was watch, and that's not saying it takes lots of practice, um, but it's just knowing what you're doing and being able to sort of not look like you're sort of going, you know, <laughs> you know trying really hard to, to do a certain thing. Uh, but si really sleek, really smart, the you can buy the apps independently if i had a favorite i think it's probably i really like the inert i really like inertia the one where you force something off of netflix or it just feels so real as all of them do but that's just there's something nice and you can do it instantly and there's no work in it um i really like watch because you can customize your own picture uh, i love which i haven't done yet uh timed out is, i think great but and, and i'm enjoying doing the word search thing the word search thing's really good fun to kind of pretend and you know, because you, there's a tiny bit of memory work, but you're meant to look like you're trying to think of something. So it all makes complete sense, but they're all good. I don't think Mark's going to put his name to anything that isn't really. Uh, so highly recommended. I think you can buy season one. I'm going to round up. It's about $68 for each season. Roughly there's a bit of fluctuation. Um, and I think the individual, individual apps go from about 25 to $35 on their own. So any questions you've got, remember, come back on the comments on comments shows on Thursday, five o'clock UK. Um, and, but, and so comment below this video and uh, do check out the Car Magic course, but check out my spread code course. It's free, totally free. And it's in depth. It's not like a rubbish freebie that gives you like five minutes worth of stuff. It's a decent course. And that's cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L. Please like, subscribe, have a great one. Take care.